Thank you to 11-Bit Studios for the game key. Hey guys, we're going to have our first look at The Invincible. Thank you to 11-Bit Studios for the game key. This is the first part. It's like a little comic book. It's a story-driven game. Looks wonderful. Uh, you're basically crash land on another planet, figuring out what the heck happened. Can you also kind of get like a little bit of a uh, Fallout vibes? All out of focus. Marit? Nope. Anybody? I'm here. with you and now I don't know where I am or how I got here I've got a splitting headache yeah and apparently bad eyesight does anyone hear me base do you copy are you there just wonderful looking I've like been in this weird space kick lately no damage to the suit or bone structure. Bone structure? Your Just body, you mean? This headache. And well, your eyes are kind of terrible right now. Do what you got in your bag. Contact your crew. How's your cell phone reception here? I don't think you have a cell phone. Just hasn't been invented for like another 60, 70 years. you for a moment my receiver's dead but the transmitter it may still be working what we have on the side bag no beacon lost my beacon where is it you're beaconless what's our gauge I have two solid hectobars in the tank it's enough for several hours What other goodies do we have here? Got a mission log. Awesome Wi-Fi. Just like I thought. Nothing. Hmm. We're gonna have to use that to find it though. I'm on my own. The beacon can't be detected either. Because we're too far away. Getting up. Nope. Review our notes. Oh, let's see if the past me hasn't failed the present me. And let's hope she took notes. Are we Map in description. Three? Doesn't ring any bells. And my crew have no way to tell me. So I report that I have no recollection of this planet. The last thing I remember. Hang on. We've closed the research cycle. We, we were already in hibernation. Flying back. Is my blackout a side effect of metabolic depression? That would be bizarre. Uh, report it. For some reason, our crew split into two groups. The first one set up camp. I wonder if I was with them. Or am I on my way there? Both groups landed in the same place. Landers to the surface. I don't usually do this. Maybe the first one broke. Perhaps. 
The first group explored the ocean with no biologist. That's weird. And the other one, just me, took a different route. Hmm. Leading to... Right! I was heading straight to the camp. So there's a dog, there's a needle, there's a crocodile, and a rope. Those are must be somewhere near. points of interest, I guess. Give me a sign. Send up a flare, the probe. Anything. Send up a probe. Okay. I'm We're all on our own. Camp, but I'll be keeping an eye out for you. Continues talking to herself. Landmarks. Well done, past me. <laughs> yep. That's what those are. Disappoint after all. Oh. I sound like I need to stop doing this. Yeah, you're talking to yourself. You're plenty crazy. I'm looking for something that resembles a dog. Bingo. There's our landmark for the dog. I found the dog. Bingo makes sense. We have the first one. I need one more. Hey, crocodile. Where are you? Where is the croco? That has an interesting shape of a crocodile indeed. report that I have established my position. Time yeah. to hit Kind of makes sense. Really like the sand effects on this. All right, got that done. Put that in your baggie. Let's mosey on, lady. Said there was what rope around here? See if we can find that. Oh, I think I see it. I'm in a canyon, which doesn't make it easy to navigate. I hope the date is trustworthy and you're close by. Hmm. I think that's my rope. It didn't just fall out of the backpack, so apparently I didn't have time to collect it before I fell. Are we just not gonna grab it? Oh, this is unsafe. Oh God! I thought that was gonna hit us. <laughs> it's humming like a psychopath. All right, so there's our landmarks. Can we continue going that way? Well, we can't jump. Uh, I think we're wasting our time here. Unless, can we? Yep. Okay, we get down here. Good. Happy they thought that out. Probably figured a thousand people would be going that way. So we're going in the right direction, it looks like. Oh, I feel like it's getting hot. Getting oh, yeah. That made sense. Got you. I found it. Found you. Look for me on your trackers. Okay, well now we're just gonna hold it permanently. Water reservoir. Why does that stay on my screen? Oh, that was a hard landing. Huh. There's water on this desert planet. 
Unknown liquid. Hmm. Or another liquid that did not allow the biosynosis to form. Won't be easy to replenish drinking supplies. Not without tests. Filtration, as we all remember. Third rule. Flashback? Oh, that's plenty bright. Cobble, how's it going? Have you checked on Yasna? I was about to. Already awake. Good. My body might be awake, but my brain is still in the fridge. I wouldn't be so sure, my dear. Clearly your sense of humor was first awake. Now, try to get up. Slowly. Dr. Gorski doesn't look so well. How are you holding up, Gorski? Don't get up just yet. Is it really so hard for you to remember a couple of simple rules? I have to stretch my legs. They're numb. Hibernation will do that. Just sit for a while. Here, take it and remember the third rule. Yes, I know. Stay hydrated. In small sips. Always the first one to get up. I don't know how you do it, Murray. It's a matter of habit. After so many cycles of cryogenic sleep, one either gets used to it or becomes a tortoise. <sighs> Kovel, will you help me here? <sighs> sure, I'm coming. Basically learning how to walk all over again. Not our system. Has anyone noticed we're in the wrong place? Kovel, it's not a good time. Yasna, look for yourself. This is not the right planet. You shouldn't be walking yet. We're overachieving. Kovel, could you stop it? I'm telling you, we woke up in the wrong place. Yes, we heard you. Enough of this, Yasna. Crow, astrogator. Debating chamber in 15 minutes. Here's our pimp. This can't be good. Guess we'll find out. But first, here, hold on to it and remember. And remember, stay hydrated. I don't know if we need this out anymore. Uh, over here. This looks interesting. Like a cave. Oh, it's getting hot again. Moving on. Time to go. Famous last words before you pass out. Psychopath humming again. Makes me uneasy. Oh, so that's where we were. We couldn't get up. I think that's where we were. <laughs> Volcanic area? Hmm. If this area is volcanically active, Ash outbursts and extreme temperature changes may explain the extinction of local fauna and flora. But it's all just too idyllic. There's no dust in the air. The sky is clear and the soil looks like laterite to me. Perhaps not highly fertile, but not entirely barren on some planets. Such storms last for several hundred days. I hope it's not one of them. Very jarring to do this first person. <laughs> oh, there's that humming. I can already see the camp. Over 400 meters in a straight line. I, I see you. Can you hear me? 
I just need to get down from here. Oh, living on the edge here. The escarpment is about 10 meters high. It looks like I could slide down. Stop being such a scientist. All right. I want to see you as soon as possible. I'll take a chance. Let's go. Go, go, gadget. One, two, better not sue. Go limp. I'm limp. One, two, better not sue. <coughs> Oh. Love you. Oh, that was less than ideal. But I'm okay. The suit's fine too. Let's march towards the camp. I feel like it's getting really hot now. Or a sandstorm. Did we die? Did we die in a walking simulator? I think we survived. I I don't know. Maybe. What happened? Where? Get up. Let's go. Or another one happens. Jesus Christ. Let's go. I was heading to... I know. We're heading towards the camp. Possible. I'm much closer to my destination. I must have walked for some time. But... I don't remember it. Did... Did I black out again? Sure talk a lot for someone who's by themselves. Closer to the camp. Find a place to land. I need to get well, I guess we're going down as soon as possible. Go to the infirmary and do a full set of tests on myself. This is very atmospheric. <laughs> that sandstorm head, and you're like, oh god. Oh, well. Okay. We can actually find little areas to grab onto. Why does she sing like a psychopath? Goes from one minute to being highly stressed and anxious. Then she starts singing. Just third satellite.
Astrogator, sir. Crew. Dr. Gorski, right on time. Any updates? We have a set of data from the near surface probe. How's the activity? Zero, oh, we got zero, paperwork. So, less than nothing. Atmosphere? Nitrogen, 78%. Argon, 2%. Carbon dioxide, 0 Methane, 4%. The rest is oxygen. But wait, that's 16%. With oxygen concentration as such, there should be life. At least some microbes. And yet we have detected no traces. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Let's finish with the probe readings first. Air radioactivity? It's virtually zero. In the word of paradise. No radioactivity, no endospores, no bacteria, no mold, no viruses, nothing. Just the oxygen. If there were no living organisms on the continent, there shouldn't be this much of it. What if life develops on some other continents here? No, I doubt it. Insulation outside the equatorial zone is weak. You don't see how thick the polar ice caps were, don't you? I can guarantee a minimum of five miles of ice sheet, potentially six. Mm, that's true. There's more chance of something in the ocean. Some seaweed, algae. But why didn't life migrate to the land? Could be because of hard radiation. Mm, I don't think so. According to the probe readings, the ground activity is exceptionally low for this part of the galaxy. I wonder if some special kind of drought intolerant evolution occurred here. Mm, that would at least explain some of the abnormalities hmm. anyway we'll have to take a look under the water first it would be good to know what time frame we're working with Marit, do you have the geological analyses it's a bit too early for mature conclusions but this planet looks old to me such a fossilized egg oh. must be at least six oh there you're doing a slideshow Besides the sun, the i thought the power went on any rare resources, forms, creatures? We can't expect such detailed data, sir. Not from this distance. Yes, we would have to explore the surface. Astrogator, what exactly are we looking for? The value of this planet. For now, it may seem like the pinnacle of nonsense. But I assure you that Regis Three is not without worth. With all due respect, Astrogator, I have the impression you're not telling us everything. As always, Dr. Koval, your instincts are correct. Please forgive my reticence. My goal was to maintain unimpeded research neutrality. There is indeed a very important factor of interest in this planet. The Alliance. The Alliance? Oh, the Alliance? Correct. What do they have to do with it? Well, they've sent their most powerful unit here. But to our best knowledge, Condor's traversing a distant quadrant. Oh. I'm not talking about the Condor. So, the Invincible? Good guess, Doctor. A steel behemoth with the power to produce billions of kilowatts in a split second, converting it into energy fields that no material body can penetrate, concentrating it into destructive rays as hot as stars that can reduce a mountain range to dust or evaporate an ocean, together with its crew of almost a hundred men, professionals that are neither better nor worse than us. Well, I dare to say we're better trained, Astrogator. Uh, they are, however, unquestionable masters of propaganda. I know that some accomplishments they brag about are very much far-fetched, but the capabilities of the Invincible are not subject to doubt. And we as the scientific body should sever ourselves from the emotional and symbolic facade. In other words, we cannot ignore facts just because we don't like them, Mr. Koval. All right, but where do we stand in all this? together with our, may I say, not quite as numerous staff. Despite our modest forces, we still have a chance to gain a critical advantage over the Alliance while avoiding confrontation. Okay, uh, and how would we do that? Simple. We leave this planet before the Invincible arrives here. Which is when, exactly? Well, they're still far away. <laughs> Astrogator, please, how much time do we have to conduct safe research? 13 days. There's no time to lose, then. I appreciate your eagerness, Cove. Dr. Crowter, do we need full gear? Mm hmm Definitely. Also, I caution you against taking off your helmets for a prolonged duration. This amount of methane is not neutral. Breathing the local atmosphere will lead to saturation drop. And you may start showing symptoms of mild brain damage. If oh. You're stupefied. But uh, don't worry. 
Not before an hour or even a couple of hours. I see. Dr. Gorski, will you program Artie to collect samples? Of course. Marit, Krauto, please prepare for the surface. Koval, you two. You're leaving early in the morning. And what about me? You're staying on board, Doctor. But Astrogator... Uh, this is not up for debate. I need you here. As you well know, there's not much work to do for a biologist on Regis Three, if any. Well, if I was ordered to stay, what the hell am I doing here? Oh, well, you're sitting on a ledge right now, so... Perhaps you should probably continue going with these random, highly detailed flashbacks. Oh, thank goodness. Not everyone's in the field. This is Dr. Yasna reporting. Oh, we found Do the camp. Copy? I'm entering the campgrounds. A robot. Is anyone out there? Oh, it's just an Androbot. All right, guys. Well, we are going to stop it here. Let me know if you want me to play more of this. This is the Invincible. Thank you to 11-Bit Studios for the game key. We'll catch you in the next one.